all right yeah uh good to be back welcome back to my channel my name is Edson. in today's video we want to solve this error right here which we usually run into with php my admin in zamp you're trying to access your mysql server and it won't allow you to do that you cannot access it right here so i'm having this issue here there are two steps that you have to take for you to solve this error yeah, i'm assuming that you have uh, zamp already running uh like i do have right here if you do not have it running you just uh, search for zamp control panel and then you open that and then you have it running and so what i do have here is as you can see on this control panel uh, i have my apache running uh, i can stop i can also start it you know that service and i can see the ports where it's running here and the process identifiers i'm also going to start my my sql so if i start my sql you can see there is an issue with my sql all right so there's an error my sql shut down unexpectedly it says this may be due to a blocked port what we can do is to try and change the port number allocated to my sql server and then we try and run it again and see if it's going to work click on config and then go to this first item my dot ini and so you want to click on that by default open in, in notepad what we want to change is the port number so in two places there's one place right here and another place where you specify the port number so i'm going to change it to 3307 instead of 3306 so I'll, I'll put a seven right here in these two places one place right here another place right here and if you save that and we go back again to the control panel to the zamp control panel and start our service again you see now our service running and so it, it was because of the blocked port there was another service running on 3306 and so it could not start this mysql server and if i'm to come back here and refresh i still have this error this error is not going anywhere so we need to move on to the second step the second step is since we changed our port number here the default port number we also need to specify it in the config file in in the php my admin right so we need to locate that file so uh, on my computer right here i have to go to this pc in the d drive some people might have installed their zamp in the c drive so if you installed it in the c drive you see zamp down here but in my case i have to go to the d drive and look for zamp which is down here you can see zamp double click in there and then go to php my admin which is this folder right here double click or open and then you want to locate a file called config.inc it might have a .php extension or it might not have that uh, php extension in my case i have that php extension i want to open this file so i'm going to right click and say edit in notepad so if i open that we want to add a directive here we have a few directives that we have right here i'm going to put it right before the language uh, the lang so i'm going to copy this thing here and then control c and then down here control v okay so with that i'm going to change what is inside the square brackets uh, of course it has to have quotation marks and then you specify the word port pot like that and then you specify the value as the port number which we allocated which is three 307 right here so i'm going to write 3307 okay with that done i'm going to save this i still have my services running you can see apache is running my sql is running so if i refresh this i'm expecting that to have solved the problem so hit on that boom you can see now we are inside php my admin now we can start creating our databases right here all right so if you find this video helpful leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out Bye-bye.